your girl Jackie O. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Glad to have you here. So I got a couple requests to do a cool toned smoky eye and this is what I came up with. The focal point of the entire look is going to be this eyeshadow palette right here. It is from the Mark line, which is a part of the Avon brand, which I'm totally new to. So I partnered with them to bring you guys this video and when they first reached out, I'm like, yeah, bring some Avon on over here. I haven't worked, I don't remember the last time I've owned or used an Avon product. It's been so long. This is the Dream Sequence palette and literally it's like designed to look like sequins. It's got 15 colors and they are super, super pigmented. So just when I first got the stuff, playing around with it and swatching it, I was like, oh yeah, we can definitely make some magic with this. It's very festive, it's very holiday looking. I was really, really pleased to have that because that just makes my job easy. Good products make my job easier. And then I'm also gonna be incorporating some of the brushes. This is a cute little brush set that actually doubles as a cute little clutch. It is a part of the whole Dream Sequence collection and it comes with five brushes on the inside. You've got some face brushes and then you've got some eye brushes and they're really, really soft. So with those products and a couple other really, really cute things that I'm gonna be showing you later, I'm gonna show you how I got this look. If you guys decide to recreate this look, especially if you do use the Dream Sequence palette, if you have it, please be sure to hashtag Mark Sparkle. And they're also currently running a discount code. Use code Mark Sparkle to receive 30% off all of your Avon and Mark purchases this month. By the way, really quickly, I was expecting to get a big box of makeup and they sent me a bunch of jewelry too. They actually sell jewelry on their website as well. This is the Second Nature Necklace from the Mark Collection and I just thought it would go really pretty with the look. So I'm excited to be partnering with them for this video and without further ado, Let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna jump right into eyes today because I figured it's an eye look, why not? Just, you know, straight, no chaser, let's just go for it. And please excuse the hair. I know I'm serving y'all Christopher Columbus, but you know, you just gotta trust the process. So the first step is to prep the eyes. I'm gonna take two different shadow sticks. Both of these are from Jouer. I'm going to prep the eyes for the bold shadows we're gonna be using later. You don't really have to worry about this being too perfect because we're putting eyeshadow on top of it later. This is just laying the groundwork for the shadows. And then just blend that out with my finger. Since we're gonna be using some jewel tones, I thought the blue would be nice because I definitely wanna bring out that blue that's going to be in the palette that we're gonna be using shortly. Not to worry, I can just clean off my finger and fix that. So I'm gonna use the blue one now under my eye. Be very precise because this is a big fatty fat, but it's gonna look really nice when we smoke it out with the shadow later. So just use your finger and take your time. Now I'm gonna take a jewel toned eyeshadow. This one is from Milani. Bringing you guys in a little bit closer so you can see better. I'm going to be taking that color that beautiful jewel tone color and I'm applying that on the outer corner of my eye. And I'm pressing it in and I'm also swiping because so I want there to be quite a bit of payoff in that burgundy. It's way easier for me whenever I'm doing these crease colors to press and then swipe. It's just, I don't know, I just let the color pay off that way. Now from the Dream Sequence palette, I'm going to take this blue here, this beautiful vibrant blue. And if you'll excuse me, I like using my good old fingers. Really, really like the color path of that. It looks beautiful. Sometimes royal blue is tricky. It can either look really dull or really vibrant, but this is nice and vibrant. I'm just gonna take this brush so I have a bit more precision like around the crease. Everywhere the finger can't get to, if that makes sense. I'm just gonna pat that in. Then I'm gonna get real creative and take some of these seafoam green looking colors from the palette. I'm thinking maybe this one. I really like the depth in that color. Just very softly smoke that out along the bottom lash line. And I'm gonna kind of extend that on my bottom lash line. So it kind of looks like an elongated liner. I'm really liking the way these colors are. I just sat down and I'm like, I don't know what the hell I'm filming. But so far it's turning out kind of creative. I'm thinking we need to add a little more depth along the outer corner. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this MARC gel liner. It is called Saved by the Gel. And it's just a black liner. And I'm going to line my top lash line, but I'm also gonna smudge it out because I really want this to be smoky. So like literally, I'm like smoking and smudging it out like it's a black eyeshadow. I'm gonna take that brush and smudge a bit of it, more of it on. Ooh, as I keep adding more liner, it turns into a dark purple. Look what I did there. Did you see this thing, girl? This is looking awfully fun and festive. 
I'm gonna now take a lighter shade for the inner eye highlight. I think to brighten it up a little more, I'm gonna go with this grayish silver here. Oh, just focus on this, not me. That one. Yeah, that kind of brightened it up a little. Now it's time for mascara. I'm quite intrigued by this mascara because I saw another girl's tutorial um, using this little device. So here's your brush head and here's this little nozzle, right? So pay attention to the brush head. As I twist it, it actually tightens up, it contracts and it becomes a shorter wand. So I'm gonna apply on a coat of that. Only one coat though, because I will be applying some lashes. I'm pleased to say I'm actually quite impressed with the formula so far. Now let's get with these lashes. Let's get with these lashes. I'm gonna be using this set also from Marc and I'm gonna take this bottom pair. All of these come with two sets of lashes and they also come with a free little bottle of glue. Yeah, I like these. This is a sexy demi. This is a romantic lash to me. So I'm gonna use those. These are said to be good for up to three uses. This glue does take a minute to dry, FYI, if you've never used it. And I'm just gonna add one more quick coat of mascara just so that the lashes and my naturals look married together. So now that I'm feeling nice and flirty, let's work on the rest of the face. So now it's time to remove all the ratchet powder. Now would be, that would be now. For the cheeks, I'm gonna use this blush from Milani. It is called Red Vino. It's quite daring. I'm excited to see how this turns out. A little bit of this goes a long way because it's quite pigmented, but it's pretty. These are the Touch and Glow Shimmer Cream Cubes, also from Marc. I'm gonna use that as a highlighter. It's just kind of like a pink and gold tone all over face glow. I'm gonna use this little precision brush from the brush set, and I'm gonna sweep that onto the high points of my cheekbones. That blush that we used, oh, this is pretty. That blush that we used earlier, like is already kind of shimmery, so you don't really need a ton of this. It's beautiful, it looks really nice with the red and pink in the blush. For lips, I'm going to take a super dark liner. This one is from Pitch and heavily line the inside of my lips. And then I'm gonna use a little jewel that I've discovered recently that I really, really love, and I've had this in my collection, and I've never even touched it. It is Sweet Maple Lipstick from Too Faced. which I think really pairs up with the jewel toned eyes really nicely. For a little bit of extra gloss, I'm gonna take this one from Marc in the shade Wind Up, which is literally like a shimmery wine color. This is super moisturizing and it's got a lot of high shine and that's kind of what I wanted with the lips. You guys haven't seen me do gloss in a while. I've been like really fiending for some gloss. I love, love this color, I'm obsessed with it. It reminds me of a 90s I got like 80s up here from the eye, from the nose up and then 90s from the nostril down. I like it though. This gloss, by the way, is a part of their hookup collection, which it's like a customizable, like you get to pick two glosses, two eyeshadows, or two liquid eyeliners to build your own like customizable set. And it comes in these two colors, Wind Up, and the other shade is Truffle. I almost forgot bottom mascara. What was I thinking? And we're done. All right guys, that was my first time incorporating Avon makeup products into my tutorials. And I have to say, Mama Jackie is quite pleased. I hope that you guys enjoyed how this look turned out. Thanks to everyone on my Twitter who requested to see a cool tone smoky eye. And I hope to see you guys back again soon. And leave your requests down below if you have any. All right, thanks again guys, bye.